Hi, how are y'all doing today? I'm so glad that you stopped by. Um, today, when I'm doing, there's been so many, um, so many uh, people that have done the blogs on the, uh, or YouTube videos on making jelly and all that with the beauty berries. So I think that subject's kind of washed out. And that's kind of the thing with YouTube I've been realizing here lately that um, everything's kind of been done. And um, so my topic today is um, AI and how it can ruin your garden and your life. Now, I mean, that sounds overly dramatic and I'm not trying to put fear into anybody. I just think that this is a topic that um, uh, people need to be aware of. So um, while I pick berries, I'm going to talk a little bit about this. And if you stick around, the last thing I'm going to talk about is how AI can help you right now. I found out something really cool um, that I had luck with that helped me greatly so I will tell you about that if you hang out to the end now AI in case some of you really don't know is artificial intelligence and um, if you don't know what it is well when you clicked on this video you dealt with artificial intelligence uh, helping you select which video videos to watch so that is one way that uh, AI has uh, incorporated into our life um, I have a lot of internet websites I I have uh, several websites and plus I sell on Amazon so I am a little computer savvy and when something new comes along I start to play with it now uh, so I got on there uh, I got on, uh, so we're clear, I haven't played with the chat GBT, GPT yet, but I have played around with BARD, which is uh, Google's, Google's AI, and uh, asked it questions about the garden and how it could help me in the garden. And it basically told me that it could um, help me schedule plantings and... Uh, and uh, stuff like that or yeah basically help me schedule plantings let me go somewhere else and look over here um so i want to kind of tell you how ai works though this is the, this is the thing it's sort of this is why the uh the actors in hollywood which you know that's beyond they're having a fit because uh artificial intelligence is now calling us trying to sell us stuff and uh, they can replace actors now uh, put a voice to a face and the actors really don't do anything except for offer their likeness so that that is what the upset is in Hollywood right now um, hang on I'm gonna walk around well there's a few more over here I got blackberries are thorny wild blackberries to get in here so now I, I sort of want to tell you where it's going and what I've seen happening or observed happening here a few um, years ago I started noticing corporations are hiring are, are promoting people and tell telling them to behave with certain morals, you know, uh, and their basic morals, which uh, should come natural to most people, but generally the people that they promote within companies may not have these morals. So um, they, they are paid to pretend as though they do. And this is where AI and the significance of it sort of, uh, uh, I'm going for a little walk. Look at all the Bidens. Uh, and I already ate all the fresh uh, figs today. So, walking along. And we just got these beauty berries all over the yard. Trying to save a little bit of the summer. I just love the color. Got to do something with it, right? So, 
what happens is you have people talking to you, telling you, great job, uh, because they're getting paid. They're getting told to do that. They are not truly believing or having that moral substance on their own. They are told to act and behave in that way. So what you have is you have people saying stuff that they don't mean. And uh, this is where, um, and I, I, I really got let down uh, and I don't want to be sour because I forgave and forgot, moved on and, and that kind of thing. But more or less, I had somebody tell me good job and not less than 30 minutes later, I was called in the office and uh, fired. So, um, and can you imagine, you have somebody sitting here telling you good job, you're doing fantastic and all that, and then they fire you. Uh, and so AI is sort of the same way. It's gonna incorporate into your phone, into your um, computer, and the government, has a large say in what AI is doing. And the reason why I know this is here recently, I've been studying about um, taxes. I'm learning to become a tax preparer, right? So we had this question that we could ask Google, but out of curiosity for the fun of it, I stuck it in BARD instead. And BARD, immediately came back with these answers of um, uh, uh, you know, falsify, falsifying document. It was really extreme and over the top as compared to the results that I went to for Google to answer the question. And, um, and there's no way that that information was not influenced by the government already. So people are going to be talking to their computers because their computers talk nicely to you. And they are going to be saying more stuff and using more stuff on their computers. And the computers are going to know everything about you. And the government is going to have way more control over your life. And in the uh, censored censorships, uh, here in UK recently, they started uh, censoring uh, people and things and uh, what they can say, what they can't say. So in the future, when you're so enwrapped in AI, you're only gonna be hearing information that whoever's got the largest paycheck is paying you to hear, you know, <laughs> paying for you to hear. And um, it's a scary topic and I'm not trying to scare anybody, but I just want people to realize what's going down because you're sitting here talking to something that pretends that it has human emotions. And it's such a letdown from my own personal experience um, that it, it's not, it's not your friend. It's not gonna be your friend. It never will be. And I have a feeling that this is gonna hurt uh, mentally a lot of people. But with that said, it's specifically to our gardens. And I just wanna sort of bring that up and open everybody's mind to uh, the changes. I mean, everybody's feeling changes. They don't quite understand them, but we all know something's Something's going on, right? So, anyhow, um, well, how it relates to your garden is okay. So, AI basically scrapes the internet and uh, gives you the result. Uh, let's just say bloggers, for instance. They're basically stealing information that people have put out there. But um, let's just say a blogger. One blogger writes 10 articles on how to grow tomatoes in Alaska. Well, one person only writes how to write, uh, how to grow tomatoes in Puerto Rico. 
So it, it scrapes that information and combines the two and what you end up with might be a lie because it, it, it will say, okay, so we have nine articles in Alaska. So that, that information is more valid because there's nine articles, you know, and it'll give you the Puerto Rico person that information of when and how to plant their plants. So I'm what the point I'm trying to get across is I think it'd be good for everybody to do a YouTube video library of their gardens and or start writing uh, writing and keeping books. Uh, because they're changing, they're even changing the history, you know, uh, 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 from what it is to what they want it to be. So, um, the, the world is just really a scary place. And um, so, with all this in mind, and I don't, like I said, I don't want to scare people. I just want to let people be aware and catch themselves i think it's going to be important in the future for us to gather as human beings and not uh rely so much on the technology out there but i think at first everybody's going to embrace this and they're going to go wholeheartedly towards it and then everybody's going to kind of re rebel against it in the long run and start trying to meet. I think a lot of it divides us as humans. And also being, uh, even YouTube, you know, certain, certain uh, types of videos with certain structures, and basically it's the structure that the robots could read, uh, get higher views than ones that don't. But the thing is, is I don't, want to put information out there like a robot. I want to put a information out there like a human being. So I want to talk to you. I know I say, uh, and I breathe heavy, but that's what human beings do. I'm not a robot. When, when we speak in person, I do not uh, talk in three simple points in two minutes to, uh, you know, to engage with you, you know? So, um, I just want people to be aware and keep things in mind and start preparing and, uh, you know, your mindsets and understanding. And like I say, I think in the future, we really, as human beings, need to meet in person where we're not monitored and censored. And uh, so, uh, you know, with like interests and uh, all of that. With that said, I don't know, does anybody else do anything with their uh, beauty berries? What I'm planning on doing, so you guys know, I can try and keep this a little bit on the gardening topic, is um, I know everybody has seen how to do the jelly by this time already, but I really, um, I really don't have a purpose for the jelly. I made the jelly one time, it was real soupy. I didn't really care for it that much. Um, some people ha say it has a great flavor and I didn't find that uh, right off the plant, it does not. It tastes very nothing for such a bright berry. But what I plan on doing is making a simple sauce. When I go in the house, I will, um, I will take a cup of water and a cup of berries um, and boil it for 20 minutes, smash, rinse, and all of that. And uh, I'm going to boil it for 20 minutes and then I put it in some ice cube trays just basically to save some for a later date. Um, maybe to try and tea. I'll be doing some tea here soon, more tea before everything goes to sleep. There's some other teas I wanna do. Um, so the one thing I wanted to say that I've learned recently about the new AI technology and how you could take advantage of it right now, it has nothing to do with your garden, but it might be helping you to get ahead in your career, is you could take your resume 
and put all your previous job talent or put your copy paste your whole resume into there and then tell AI what job you want and its description and tell it to rewrite your resume according to um, the description of that job and it will write the best uh, every resume I've done that with I've gotten a call back on and the reason why is because they're using AI to pick their candidates now so if you use AI to do your resume you're gonna have more uh, more uh, reaction I, I, as a matter of fact every single one that I did I've gotten an answer back on so how about that aren't that isn't that such a beautiful color now the thing is with the color I've heard and I haven't tried it for myself so and that's the other thing about AI you know one person like I could say you can't freeze these he's turned gray which I seen that on the internet the other day that may not be suit so it might have happen for that one person but everybody picks up on that and repeats it 20 times and it's not necessarily true i don't know if that's true or not but they say the berries turn gray if you freeze them and try and do something with them later just so you know i've heard that i don't know if it's true and i just sort of like why risk it i might stick a bag of berries in the uh fridge just to see out of curiosity um so and that's that um and you know the one thing too i wanted to uh i wanted to point out or say is i've been you know contemplating youtube and and trying to find my style and my voice and everybody's already done how to the thing is is people aren't being truthful there's things that happen in the garden that um i personally have avoided talking about i'll go for instance say uh, rat problems or squirrel problems and people just don't talk about these because of the backlash but here's the thing I'm not a robot I'm a real human in a real house and we have these real problems so going forward um, I know I'll get some hate for some of the topics look at Noe yeah I, I called Noah uh, Noe Patoe and there he goes after and how about these these stickers anybody else have a problem with these nasty little boogers oh my goodness so um so going forward i'm gonna try uh because you know what's different from this video and the next how-to video is me and uh the only way i can give you is more information is to be an honest human being and not uh give you all your information in bullet points you don't like that style well you're probably not gonna like my videos but i hope you do and i'm so glad that you stopped by and i don't know why this information was heavy on my heart but something was telling me that i needed to share it and let people know about it if they're not realizing it yet and have a wonderful day and i hope you stop by and like my video and that'll be it bye for now